A steep mountain is inclined 78 degrees from the horizontal and rises 3,600 vertical feet above the surrounding plain. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a picture there. So I'm going to just draw a line here up that we know that the height of the mountain is 3,600 and its angle of elevation measured off the horizontal 78 degrees. Now the mountain might be a little jagged and whatever, but we can represent that because the vertical height needs to be a perpendicular line to the horizontal. So there is our representative thing of what how steep the mountain is and its height. A cable car is to be installed that will travel from a point 940 feet from the base of the mountaintop. So we're going to make that over this way, 940 feet from the base of the mountaintop. Find the shortest length of cable needed. So our cable has to go from this point right here up to the top of the mountain. And so what we want to find is this, I'm going to call it L for the length of the cable. So in looking at that, I have a triangle that L is comprised. There's a right triangle, but I just know a piece of it. But the triangle I'm actually going to work with is this one right here. Now, I don't have anything in it. I can get an angle in it because this is 78 degrees. So this must be 102 degrees because they form a straight line of 180 degrees. Now, I have a side of that triangle, 940, and I have an angle. If I could get this side right here, then I could use the law of cosines to find L. Well, I can get that side if I go look at that right triangle that I made from the height of the mountain and the angle of elevation there. That is the hypotenuse of that triangle. So I'm looking at that triangle and sine of 78 degrees. I'm looking at this right triangle right here. Sine of 78 degrees is opposite, which is 3600 over hypotenuse, which is x. I can solve that for x, and x would be 3600 divided by sine of 78 degrees. So I can put that in the calculator, 3600 divided by sine 78 degrees, and it looks like that is approximately 3680.426. Now I can go back to this green triangle and I can use the law of cosines to find L. The law of cosines says L squared equals the sum of the squares of the other two sides, which is 940 squared plus x squared. And the reason I'm going to call it x squared is because my calculator has this value in it as the answer. And so I am going to just do answer squared when I need x. And then it's minus 2 times the product of those sides, so 940 times x, times the cosine of the angle between those sides, which is 102 degrees. So now if I take and I want L, I just need the square root of what I have here above. So I'm just going to put that in my calculator now. I'm just going to do this. This 100, this 2 didn't show up. There we go. I'm going to put that down here. So I grab my calculator and I hit square root and then I have 940 and hit the squared plus answer squared minus 2 times 940 times answer times cosine of 102 degrees. And when I do that I get 3,983.43 feet.